Sports Professor Ricardo inside the $1.3 trillion business of sports. Special Olympic edition number two. Well, I wasn't going to do anything about transportation, but this is something you couldn't pass up. You know, gridlock getting to Olympics G7, an Uber, Lyft type company, solves that problem. They've been in existence for 50 years or more. Europe's largest transportation taxi company, employing 15,000 people. But get this, they have a deal with the city of Paris where they can use the streets that Olympic officials and police and fire and other important people can use to get to venues. I am going now to the North Paris Arena for boxing. We'll talk about that later. And a an hour and 10 minute trip by normal transportation, not the subway, it doesn't go that far out, will take about 30 minutes. So my driver says, yeah, he says 30 minutes. We'll have to see, we're halfway through it. The bottom line is, when 1896, when the Olympics started again, this company was there driving deals. No, not then, but certainly now. It's a new slant on transportation, another convenient aspect of these games. Sports Professor Ricaro, Sports News Minute, Special Olympic Edition.